Hello everyone, welcome back. Welcome back to another video of my channel. I am Kishal. I hope you all are doing well. So this video is about another update of my PhD tenure that I have successfully cleared the PhD comprehensive exam or PhD compre exam, which every PhD student or doctoral student student must pass. And this video is about my experience on the comprehensive exam. So I'll discuss what is a comprehensive exam. You know what is the exam structure of the comprehensive exam? What are there in the syllabus? How was my experience? How did I prepare for this exam? How how was the experience of appearing for this exam? And what are the consequences that you have to you know face if you can't pass this exam? So everything I'm going to discuss in this video regarding the comprehensive exam and 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 here at IIT Kharagpur specifically in CSE department, you know it's a big hurdle in your PhD tenure to pass this comprehensive exam. And everybody, you know, every doctoral students, they have some kind of scare that about this exam that whether I can pass this exam or not. So why so that I am going to discuss in this video. So if you want to know detail about it, please stay tuned with this video till end. And before starting the video, uh, if you like this video, please hit the like button. And if you if you are new to this particular channel, please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that whenever I upload a video, you will get instant notification. Without further ado, let us start into today's video. Now, first, let's discuss what is comprehensive exam. So, PhD comprehensive exam or PhD compre exam is an exam that every doctoral student must appear uh, by the end of second year or third year. So, around the world, every institution who is offering PhD, there is this provision of PhD comprehensive exam in every department, and every doctoral student has to appear for the exam either in uh, his or her second year or third year. Now the purpose of this exam is to evaluate your growth. I mean, uh, by the end of second year, you know, you probably have done all the coursework uh, that 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 you are supposed to do as a part of your PhD program, and and after that, through this exam, you are evaluated that how good you are as an independent researcher. So it will evaluate you that you know how good you are on those subjects or on those courses that you have taken that are relevant for your research, and hopefully by the end of second year or by 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 third year, you have done some kind of research work uh, with, the, with the help of your guide or, or, or some other students that is there in your group. So through this exam uh, that is also be checked that how good you are or what is the progress of your uh, in your in your research direction on which you are pursuing your PhD. So the overall idea is to check uh, how you, is your growth as an independent researchers around in the mid of your PhD tenure. So that is the purpose of this PhD comprehensive exam and that's why every doctoral students must pass this exam by end of second year or third year. Now what is the exam pattern for the PhD comprehensive exam and what are there in the syllabus? So first let's talk about the exam pattern. So there are typically three ways uh, this exam has been conducted in different institutions. The first way is uh, there will be some exam, the written test that you have to pass. Uh, there are different institutions who wish to take a panel interview of the students. And the third way is there are few institutions who wish to conduct a seminar. Now coming to the written test, uh, the syllabus actually differs. Like personally, uh, what I have faced at IIT Kharagpur is that though I am doing my research in the machine learning and uh, you know data mining, deep learning uh, area, but here in the comprehensive exam, they used to conduct a written test where the syllabus is from the gate syllabus. So there are few subjects that is being taken from the gate syllabus and, and, and that you have to appear for the exam and you have to pass it. But there are other IITs or even in the foreign universities also where they used to conduct the written test based on your area of research. Like uh, there are uh, like in IIC, I have I have heard that they used to conduct the written test uh, based on the area that you are working on. Suppose you are working on the machine learning area, then your written test will be based on the machine learning. So this is how the syllabus is there for the written test part. Again, for the panel interview, you know, mostly, uh, you know, that the interview has been conducted based on your area of research. So suppose you are working on a specific area of research, then the panel will be set up so that they can ask you questions from those specific area of research and evaluate your performance or knowledge on that direction. And finally, for the seminar, as I said, there is just one way that, uh, you know, you have to present uh, your work or related work or the survey that you have done. Uh, for that uh, area of research and they have that you have to present in a in a seminar of one hour so these are the typical three ways uh, through which this phd comprehensive exam has been conducted and uh, these are the uh, syllabus that is being followed 
by different institutions and, 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 and there is no specific pattern you know from institute to institution from department to department uh, this exam exam pattern and syllabus uh, may vary now i will share my personal experience of appearing for this exam uh, but before that i will give you in detail about uh, the comprehensive test syllabus in iit kharagpur in computer science engineering department so we have three groups here group a group b and group c in group a there are data structure algorithm and programming in group b there is discrete mathematics and formal language and automata theory and in group c we have data logic computer architecture and operating system so the so the so the, um, the syllabus is that you know there will be 60 marks question uh, that will be there that will be asked in the comprehensive exam uh, so you have to you have to choose 30 marks from group a that is compulsory for everyone so group a is compulsory for all the students you can choose among group b and group c one of them and based on that you will do the rest 30 marks so among total 60 marks 30 marks you have to do from group a that is compulsory and the rest 30 marks you can choose either from group b or group c now whether you will be choosing group b or group c that you have to mention before whenever you will be applying for the comprehensive exam uh, so so there is a mail that will come from the department that comprehensive exam will be you know conducting uh, that will be you know sent by some of the professors and you have to reply to this mail that I want to appear for the comprehensive exam uh, the next time that is happening and this is the particular uh, group that I am choosing among group B and group C. So typically as you understand group B is a theoretical pool and group C is a system pool. So personally I have chosen uh, I have chosen group C because I am not that good in uh, theory part so that's why I have chosen digital logic architecture and operating system. So yeah that's the idea that 30 marks you have to solve from group A that is compulsory and rest 30 marks you have to choose either from group group B or group C whichever you will be choosing and whichever you will be declaring uh, prior to the exam. Now uh, coming to the syllabus most of them uh, that, that that is there in the syllabus uh, in data structure algorithm programming and all the other subjects that comes from gate syllabus. So you have to prepare for the gate subjects again and there was the actual challenge that is for me. So the exam happened in on, on 30th March. So typically there are two times this exam used to be happened. One is in the in the in the end of November that is uh, during the winter time and one is at the end of March. Um, so like 30th March and 30th November that is a typical date uh, when uh, these comprehensive exams used to happen. Uh, so I, 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 had, I had already decided that I will be appearing for the exam on 30, for 31st March. But you know the main struggle for me was to study those gate subjects again uh, because I was not feeling motivated to go back and study digital logic, architecture, operating system, algorithm and all. Uh, so I had decided that I will be starting a bit early uh, so that you know I have proper time to uh, finish the syllabus but you know December, January I was, I was a lot of busy because there was Indo ML then I went to Google research week. Then I have submitted my paper to uh, UAI where my paper got ac accepted recently. So all of these things were happening and I didn't get any time to you know, prepare for this. Uh, so finally, after submitting my paper to UAI, uh, I think from 22nd or 23rd February, I started preparing for it. Uh, so there are four to five subjects I had to prepare for as, as, as I said that I have opted for group C. So I have to prepare for digital logic computer architecture and operating system and also for the group A subject that is uh, algorithm and, and programming. Now the idea is that you have to get at least 60% of this exam that means you have to get 60% of 60 marks that is 36 marks you have to get to pass this exam. That means if you prepare for at least one pool perfectly like if you prepare for uh, you know group C suppose well uh, then you will be getting 30 marks from group C and then 6 marks from somehow from the algorithm programming part because algorithm is really a difficult thing uh, to do to solve in IIT Kharagpur because that paper used to be a you know tougher one or tricky one. So my plan was that I will be preparing <coughs> well for the group C part and group A part I will be trying to do as much as possible. So yeah that was the idea and that was the plan I started to follow. So initial you know first week was the tougher one because Again, I have to, you know, uh, draw draw back all my will force and start those subjects which I have studied for many times during my gate preparation. I was not feeling at all motivated. But yeah, you know, as I started preparing for those last five weeks, I mean from 23rd February to 31st, there are five, week, five weeks uh, left before the exam. And those five weeks, as I started preparing for the subjects, as I started solving previous year gate papers and all, so you know the momentum uh, you know started bringing up 
and I have prepared well for the C, C pool and then I prepared a bit for the for the algorithm part and there are previous year questions available for this comprehensive exam so that was already there and after three weeks when we have studied all the all the theory part or all the topics when I, we have already gone through then we started doing group study to solve all these all these previous year questions so this is how the things happen uh, so my target was again i was saying that you know i want 30 out of 30 from group c and some marks i'll be getting from the group a at least one question if i solve from the group a uh, then you know i'll be i'll be passing the exam so this is how i prepared for the exam and on 30th march or 31st march i can't remember the exact date uh, that was the comprehensive exam uh, so the paper structure and now it was like you know from each pool there are six questions and you have to appear uh, only three so each question carries 10 marks so group c there are six question each was carrying 10 marks and you have to appear three of them so that you'll be getting 30 so maximum you can you can score 30 from a pool so from c pool uh, the questions are actually easier so i solve four questions and from a pool that is the theoretical part i mean the algorithm and programming part from there i have solved uh, three questions so this is how the exam well and question paper was relatively easier this time uh, thankfully for uh, me than the past year questions and uh, and and it was a three three hours exam uh, so from two to five the second half uh, on on 30th march the exam happened so yeah that was the overall uh, you know idea of this comprehensive exam I appeared for it and after one and a half months uh, the result comes and uh, as expected i i have passed uh, the exam now what will be the consequences if you can't pass this exam now here at iit kharagpur you will be given two chances to pass this comprehensive exam so suppose if i fail this exam this time so next time when the comprehensive is happening that means around october end or november end so i have to appear again this exam and i have to pass this exam and here if you can't pass the exam after appearing for two times then your phd will be terminated so that is a harsh thing of comprehensive exam in any institutions that you have to pass this exam otherwise you can't continue with your phd now now why it is a hurdle here at iit kharagpur because it's a written test exam and you have to study something uh, that you are not working on on a regular basis so you have to study the gate syllabus and then you have to appear for the exam so it's a bit tricky things for the phd people because uh, as, as, a, as a phd candidate we are now working on a very different thing than what we have been taught uh, in my in our btech days or gates get time now personally i am working on machine learning and linear algebra probability may be the closer thing that i am working on but if you ask me question from architecture operating system detail logic that is i am not in a, in a touch with them so that's the difficult thing here phd student face that they have to put a lot of effort again to prepare for the gate syllabus and then appear for the exam so that's why here phd ex a comprehensive exam is a bit difficult and if you can't pass it uh, you know in in two attempts your phd will be terminated so that pressure is always there on the phd student so i have seen many students so i have prepared it for five weeks but there are many students uh, who was preparing for this exam for three to four months because they are so scared that if they can't pass this exam their phd will be terminated and i have seen i mean in recent times there are there are example uh, where where students got terminated their uh, their phd uh, due to not able to pass this comprehensive exam but you know if the if the exam is on the interview basis or seminar basis uh, you know the pressure is a bit lesser there because the chances of getting uh, you know pass the exam is higher there because you know in an interview or in a seminar the panel thinks that you have done a quite good job then they will pass you but in the written test you have to correctly solve the question then only you'll be getting the full mark so that is the pressure that will be there but it's it's, it's a reality that any institutions if you if you are doing your phd you have to clear or you have to pass the comprehensive exam otherwise your phd will be terminated so yeah that's it about this video that you know my phd update that i have successfully completed the uh, comprehensive exam and hopefully i don't have to appear for any exam going forward now this is the last written test or last written exam uh, i have appeared uh, in any academic institutions so let me know if you have any query or if you have any comments let me know in the comment section i have a telegram channel you can join that and ask me question there we can discuss uh, various things so you can join the telegram channel and telegram group either give i'll be giving the link in the description and if you like this video please like it and share this video to other people and if you're new to this particular channel please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that when i upload a video you'll get instant notification that's it about this video i'll be meeting in the next video until then bye